Eugene Robinson. You know, I thought President Trump's speech was um, more substantive than I thought it would be, actually, and very sort of, um, uh, he laid out what he's going to do. I mean, it, it, it is a protectionist, uh, almost isolationist agenda. Um, uh, you could call it nationalism, um, but he laid it out, and I, I thought it, he was like, no, we're not going to, I'm not going to stand here and say kumbaya, I'm not going to embrace other visions of the country. You know, we have um, one heart, one home, and one glorious destiny, and he sees that glorious destiny fulfilled um, through uh, protectionist policies, which he says will make us, um, uh, will bring us great prosperity and strength, um, uh, pseudo-isolationist policies. We will defend our own borders and not other people's. Um, so I, I think it was a big departure from what we usually hear in these speeches and, and maybe in U.S. policy. Let's just reflect on this, on this moment here as the rotors start up. This is um, the departure from the U.S. Capitol of the first African-American president of the United States having completed uh, two successful terms as president, um, having saved us from a Great Depression and having had a scandal-free eight years in office, um, handing off to somebody he never imagined he would be handing off to, but completing a term as president that uh, will be viewed not just positively, but um, among the best um, in our history. And we thought we were making history in electing our first African-American president, uh, but he made president, he made, he made history in the way he governed.